What's up? What's up? It's your man, Jimmy Chan. All right. So first, I have to graph this system of inequality. So I'm going to go ahead and make these two different colors, right? All right. So what I know is that the red has a solid line, mainly because of that piece right there. Okay. And the blue also has a solid line because of that symbol right there. Okay. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take this here, bring it down. The only difference is that I'm going to replace that with an equal sign instead and get the Y by itself so I can draw my line. So I have 5Y is equal to negative X plus 25. And then I'm going to divide every single one by 5. So y is going to equal to negative 1 fifth x plus 5. All right. So let's go ahead and graph that. Looks like there's an opening right there. Why not? So it tells me that my y-intercept is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. Of course... Let me extend this a little further. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five. And I got to go down one, right five. There we go. One, two, four, five. Okay. So there's that line. Let me extend that a little further this way. All right. And it's a solid line, so I'm good, right? I just need to know which way to shade. So what I'm going to go ahead and test is 0, 0. So I'm going to test 0, 0. So whenever I test, I do have to test in the original, OK? So if I have 0, plus 5 times 0 and see if that's less than or equal to 25. So is 0 less than or equal to 25? And the answer is yes. The answer is yes. So that means 0, 0 is part of my solution, so I'm going to be shading in this direction right here. Okay? All right. So let's take a look at the blue. So same thing. I'm going to grab this right here. I'm going to duplicate this, bring it over here, except I'm going to replace that greater than or equal to sign to equals to. Okay? So I'm going to get y by itself. So I just got to divide by 5, right? So I'm going to have y is equal to 1 fifth x. Now, notice that it doesn't have anything for the y-intercept. Well, if there's nothing for the y-intercept, won't we just know it to be a 0? So in other words, it's going to start at 0, 0. And then my slope is up 1, right 5. Up 1, right 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have this line right here. And let's now we can't test 0, 0, however, right? We're going to have to test something else. So question is, is it going to be above or below? We got to take a guess. Let's go ahead and test. 0, 2. So I'm going to test 0, 2. All right. With that being said, we got to put it in the original. Boom, right there. So is 0 less than or, I mean, greater than or equal to 5 times 2. So is 0 greater than or equal to 10? And the answer is no, it definitely isn't. So 0, 2 is not part of my solution. So I should be shading away from them. 
Vidok. So in other words, where it's double shaded is actually where my answer is. So with that being said, that means I got to clear this part off and all of that red shading can continue after that blue line. So there, this is where my solution is. And for most of you guys, you're gonna realize that this answer is not there. So, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that this is your so-called solution. Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and make that, oops. And that is gonna be your solution, all right? Hopefully that, you guys understand that. If there's any questions, please let me know. See ya, bye.